Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new safe bar. We are jumping in again. Let's randomise. We are still on a mega, mega losing streak at the minute. It is what it is. But we get Henry. Oh baby. Um, And do you know what? I do love Henry. But I think I'm going to do Henry in a greedier mode. I'm just feeling it. I was already sort of like when I was looking that I need to record today. I was already planning on playing greedier just because... Uh, I don't know. I like to throw it in here and there. And even though this guy doesn't have a greedier unlock, I still want to get the marks done for him. And, I don't know, Henry's just kind of a potentially fun character for greed mode anyways. Of course, looking for familiars uh, is going to be of paramount importance. We've had some interesting runs with him in the past, especially with the, the holy dip idea. When you get dips, they have a chance to be other dips, and then those dips touch other dips that create other dips of the same kind. And it's like got this whole spiralling action. And I really like it. And do you know what? Me off the bat is not a bad start. Wait a minute. Hold up. Okay, no. I thought uh, every time it entered it was going to spawn flies. That would be a little bit ludicrous. This is a pretty strange... Pretty strange shop room here. Um, nothing here is great. Um, spawns... You see, spawns are just into the boss room. If that works on bosses spawning... That could be pretty good, but I'm gonna bet that it doesn't. Uh, we've got two pills here, we'll take them. Clairvoyance, and I found pills. We did indeed get a fear-based dip here as well, which I'm not quite sure where we got him from, but I will certainly take him for our very own. Um, but yeah, G gotta love this guy, he can be really, really good. Um, I don't know how good the fear dip is, I'll be honest. I, I can't imagine it being amazing, because it's literally just gonna stop enemies from running into the radius. Uh, I don't know if it does anything other than that. Give me that dip. Oh, we're getting poops galore here, baby. Poops galore. I'm just going to make sure to actually grab the dips. But my flies and um, and other dips can grab the dips. It's kind of like a, a knock-on chain reaction effect. But yeah, this is going to be really, really nice. If we can get any way to generate uh, flies, then we're in the money. And obviously, familiars are going to be great for us as well. I, I'm really not look, liking the way that this current um, setup is stacking up. I do have to say, getting that worm guy uh, charmed there was pretty beautiful. In fact, that was a really nice amount of charm we just got going there. That might help us out. The hippity hopper doesn't seem to really be affected by the charm, other than not going for me. It doesn't do any damage to his friends. It's okay. It's okay. As for question of the day, what's the last mistake that you made? What's the last sort of mistake that you made in your life? Whether it be small or big, what is the last mistake you made? For me, it was earlier today. A very, very simple one. I, um, I, my government's parents are over at the minute, so we're just, like, doing, um, like, some activities and stuff. So we went out on a nice walk, um, went around to, like, this reservoir. It was really nice, actually. Um... Somewhere that I haven't been before, it's actually quite close to where I live, surprisingly. Somewhere I didn't really know about. I'm taking way too much damage here. Um, we gotta be careful. My dips can protect me, but not against everything. Um, and we sat on this bench to eat our food, and I, I, I noted that underneath the chair, there were some stinging nettles just, just nearby. Um, and I was like, hmm, probably not the best idea. Oh, thank you for blowing that guy up. Uh, probably not the best idea to get anywhere near those, but they were like right under where my leg was and I was like, okay. It's unfortunately looking like this could be a problem. <laughs> so, by the way, I'm going to keep, I'm going to stay in this room simply for the pure fact that we get these guys. Okay. This is nutty. You get one red poop and you're basically set. Oh my god, I love this. Okay. So I'm going to be killing everything like this for now because it's going to be hella useful, apparently, to us. Ooh, 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 this room is, this room is harder than I expected. I kind of forgot that you'd spawn a billion ghosts in my face. Okay, that was, that was lucky. I don't know how I quite managed that, but there you go. Yeah, and I, I sat down, and I went to get up, and I, I still need, I even still noted about the, the stinging nettles, and I put my leg right in it. It was stupid. It was stupid. I was wearing shorts as well, because it's really warm in the UK right now. Uh, hence why we were out for a walk. And unfortunately, yeah, to, to my dismay, I, touch, I touched the nettle. And now I have, like, a really itchy spot on my leg. Pretty much permanently. It's very annoying. Can you bugger off, ghost? Dude! Ah, oh, as if it's scared around me like that, then. 
Do I want to take Devil Deal here? I'll give it a go. Why not? Let's check it out. Um, I actually think that Devil's Dagger could be really, really good. Do you know what? Little Fiend is good too. I'm going to take Little Fiend. I don't know why it's quality zero. I honestly disagree with that entirely. That is an incorrect assessment. Um, I'll take this. I will go for a reroll. Okay, I got one. Um, GMO Corn is interesting. I'm going to... I'm gonna go and, um, I'm gonna go over here, go in here first, and then I'm gonna do GMO Corn after that. Oh, that is incredible. Okay, that's such a good time to get this. Okay, let's take GMO Corn, because it's a damage up and it's a health up. Obviously, it's seven random pills. It could be to my dismay. Do you know what? Overall, that didn't go so bad. We are now a little large, but that didn't go so bad. And honestly, a power pill for the next floor's curse room, if we get a curse room, that is not bad. Not bad. I realize I haven't really done Mother and Greed mode all that often. It's just because it requires a key on the first floor. It's like eating into my profit margins. <laughs> um, Right. Nothing particularly good here for us. Um, I will open up these two. Do you know what? Hmm. See... I am incredibly tempted by the idea of taking the reverse of the tower. But spawning rocks on us taking damage seems, unless we have spectral or flight, seems incredibly frustrating. So I'm, I'm not going to take that because I think that could really, really annoy me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was stupid. Oh, no. I took a lot of damage there. My bad, I guess. My bad. Got an upgrade and a dagger. Okay. Go for this. And yeah, basically at the minute, it's kind of hope we get a red poop. But herming is super good for us here. Because for one, it lasts forever. And two, it means that our poop shots will rarely miss. It doesn't mean they can't miss, but it means that they shouldn't miss as often. Um, as they normally would. And unfortunately, using the book multiple times doesn't do anything for us. I was think I was about to say, and using it multiple times will give us a stacking range bonus, but unfortunately, it, it doesn't actually work like that for some reason. Even though the book gives plus three range on use, you'd think multiple uses of it would then stack the plus three range, right? But not the case, apparently. Yeah, look, no extra range there. But at least it's only a two-room charge, so it's going to be available for every single wave, pretty much, no matter what. Get my dips going again. It's a little hard to get them going because you often end up killing them by accident. Ooh. Black poop there. Nice. Take it easy with this guy. Always forget what these guys do, the red ones. Fire all the shots, apparently. But yeah, I went for the, um, the little fiend because whenever he collides with an enemy, he has a chance to spawn one of these little dudes but it seems they only last until the end of the wave which is like not not like forever i thought they'd build up over the room but it seems like when the wave ends they go away also yeah you can see as well that the um the devil's dagger or whatever the item's called really actually quite good for us because um it stacks up over the course of the waves and it's pretty much guaranteed to get to its max upgrade by the end also depending on what spot what type of enemies spawn here okay this is bad this is not how I wanted this to go. But what the hell kind of noise was that? Whoa, what's all this? What are all these devil-based things that I'm taking right now? I took them all, and I'm still alive, and I got some money out of it. But I don't really know what they were or why they spawned. I'll be honest. All a little confusing to me. I have very little to no idea what that was about. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to first of all buy a key here. And then I think I'm going to do some re-rolling. Because I'm honestly not particularly happy with the stuff that it's provided for us there. Quince is pretty awesome. I like Quince here. We've got some really good items so far. Okay. Do some re-rolling. Um, to spawn a random pickup upon killing a champion... I'm actually going to take that because I think that will work in greed mode. And I, 
I, I foresee that being pretty good. Um, and I will buy a soul hatch to make sure I live here. Oh god! There was a pooter there that I did not see. Holy poo. Hell yes with the holy poo. You are well and truly stuck down there, aren't you? Big lad. Okay, now you've managed to escape yourself now. Yeah, we've got all these little devil tokens here that I'm confused by. We've got Krampus. I'm going to take care of the fires first. Then honestly, I'm just going to power pill this guy. Then we got three sixes here. Gave me some of these. Don't know. Apparently I have 28 of them, if that means anything to anyone. Really have absolutely no idea. Apparently I never went in here. Oh, get a soul heart pair floor as well. Brilliant. Brilliant. -er. Okay, down we go. Things are looking good for this run thus far. Pretty spicy. Go in here. That's going to be a damage down right now, I think. Take that first off. Data miner, I don't think so. Roid Rage. Pretty good, actually. I, I respect the speed up, so reasonably happy with that. Ooh, two Little Brims. Little Brim's actually not the best one. My, my absolute favourite is Seraphim. Um, where the fuck did we get Psyfly from? Did Quint spawn a Psyfly? What the hell's going on? Where the hell did... I'm very confused where Psyfly has come from here. I am very, very confused where Psyfly came from. Did somehow using my active turn a regular fly into Psyfly or picking up Bedbug? I, I, I don't know. I'm just very confused. And yes, indeed killing a champion did give us a random pickup. So I was correct in thinking that it would work in greed mode. So now we have a potential way to get bombs and keys by just killing champions. Of which in greed mode there is a numerous amount. So... We are potentially still going to get drops from champions, which I really like. Finally destroyed that poop. I'm not leaving while I've got Psyfly here, because I don't know, I want him. Just stand right here. No, don't destroy my poop, you fool. How could you? Oh, get out of here, you big earth. God damn it. Yeah, these guys sadly do not have Herming. I don't, I don't have a baby bender going on right now. Well, I managed to hit him there, though, just about. Okay, nice. Can do that as well. We'll go for you guys. Of which our little brimstones are actually... Pretty well lined up to get you. They're doing a pretty good job. Like I said, Seraphim's definitely better because you don't have to worry about it. It just homes in. But these are pretty good. Okay. Good stuff. We got another Devil Deal, of course. Mum's Knife. I feel like I probably have to take, especially with Herming. Ow. Certainly adding some extra risk to the run, but I feel like i got to take this. Um, I would like to buy a Soul Heart, please. There you go. In fact, I will buy two. Now I'll get down to the next floor. Okay. Things are still looking good for us. I kind of like how we're playing as Henry, who is literally a piece of shit, and we've managed to get an item that adds a piece of corn into the shit. <laughs> it's quite funny. Uh... 
Squeezy, that is fantastic. The fire rate up is lovely, and the extra uh, soul hearts there make me feel way more comfortable. Um, we don't know what we're grabbing here, so I think I'll just buy a key for now. And we get Band of Region. I don't know how Band of Region works, so forgive me if I incorrectly use it. But yeah, Mum's Knife plus Herming is really good. Um, I've increased HP but dropped more hearts on death. Okay, that's not very useful for us. Whoa, you see that Mum's Knife sail away then. We need enemies that drop more gems. Unfortunately, we're getting the, the weedy gems dropped at the minute. Give us something that's going to drop us like 40, because sometimes that does happen. We also froze that enemy. We've also, we're missing Psyfly again now. I, I, I'm, I'm still all, all very confused about this. We got an item. Oh, this is the toilet pump. Okay, this is the item specifically when, that you can get when killing enemies while playing as this character. I think it's just like when it touches enemies, it has a chance to um, turn them into poop. So we've just got additional poopy chances now. I like the fact that Mum's uh, knife is still turning enemies into poop too. Really nice. Good. Oh god. Slightly horrific enemy now. Freezer baby doing his thing. Um. Yeah, we can leave. I'll take a random item. Why not? Oh, I loaded D six. Ooh, baby. Loaded D6. Loaded D6 is pretty darn good. But we've not really got much more chance to use it is the only problem. Did we not take either of these? Ah, oh, no, we took them both. Okay. Don't know how I'm going to play this. Um, I think what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get an extra Mum's Knife, which is... Probably pretty unlikely, but I'm going to try it nonetheless. I've got 29 of these things now. I have no idea what they do for me. Do you know what? I think I'm going to stick with a load of D6. I love having Herming, but the load of D6 can just be so much fun. So, right, um... I'm going to hold off and wait until the next floor. Oh, we got double Skolex. This is actually going to be a nightmare with the new uh, update to Skolex. Because it's just going to cover so much of the screen. The game was not designed with two Skolexes ever in mind. What we need to do is we need to heavily focus on one. And then hope for the best. Oh, dude, this is going to be tragic. I could lose a lot of HP here. The game was not designed with this guy in mind for having two of them in one room. It doesn't help that the guy's got, like, a bajillion armor now. I don't really know why they had to make the armor quite so hearty. Like... I have Mum's Knife and look how much damage I've done to this guy. It's like pathetic. How am I meant to dodge that? <laughs> oh, this is taking way too long. If he does the explosions as well, it just kind of screws everything up. Yeah, this is, this is frustrating. This is way, way, way more of a Skolex fight than I needed. It's annoying, because, like, I hate the normal Skolex without this mod on, but the fight with normal Skolex would just have been so much easier with Mum's Knife than this is being. I think the, his armor's just a bit too egregious in general. Like, even just killing the one Skolex here is taking forever. And I have Mum's Knife. I mean, I don't have great damage, but you'd, you'd think I'd be killing him a little bit faster than this. I mean... Like, how am I meant to not take damage in that scenario? One is dead. It's such a cool rework, but yeah, unfortunately it does... Does make for some issues. 
because the game was never designed around this version of Skolex, and so people made waves with two Skolexes in them. Because it would have been normally been fine, but with the update, it certainly makes it a little more troublesome, should I say. I guess I'll check this out, but I gotta say, I don't think I'll be taking any. Ah, do you know what? I'll take one. We got... Do you know that's so annoying? We got a golden version of the nail. I actually really, really like that. That would be a lot of HP for us, and I think quite high stacking damage. This has given me... Hmm. The loaded D6 is fun. The homing is fun. But the nail is quite valuable. I, I'm going to take loaded D6 anyways. I'm, I'm going to stick to my guns. Move to the next floor and hope we don't have the same goddamn curse again. Not getting familiar so far, sadly. It's not played hugely into this. Right. So. Use this. Bugger. Neither of those are what I was hoping for. Um, I think we'll take the bar of soap, though. But that puts a bummer in my plans. I was really hoping to get, like, an extra mum's knife. Depression. Mum's heal. I'll take depression. I'll leave mum's heal because I might be able to redo that. Yeah, it's very, very upsetting to have lost my herming. But it was for a potentially worthy cause. I just, I hope it ends up being worthy is, is the only thing. I hope it it wasn't lost in vain. That would upset me. We end up getting rid of the cool herming stuff we got going on. It not actually end up being useful. Oh, dude. So much going on right now. I can't keep track. There's a lot of enemies that keep spawning straight into the fires. I quite like that. Ooh, hello. That's potentially useful. Because it means now... Oh my lord. Nice, that's the sort of enemies we need. It means now I can take a Mysterious Gift into the Devil Deal and get a free Devil Deal item. Which is rather good. Unless it's an active again, then it's not great. Okay. Um, so I think we I think we gift card that. Gift card. Let me come back over here. Oh, we got the hollowed ground out of that. I did not expect that. Um, I'll certainly take that. We got the Urcrap transformation. Nice. I think we do this again. And I would I would actually take that guy again. He's pretty good. Let's take another one of these guys. I think they can be really, really good. Especially in the greed fight later. We also got conjoined out of that. Wasn't expecting that either, but I'm pretty happy with that too. Just the one boss, or is it two? No, it's just the one boss, okay. Love it when he's just invincible for like the entire start duration of the fight. It's really makes a boss fun, you know? Oh my god. Stop making your bosses invincible, please. This is not how I want to play the game. By just idly waiting until this purple bubble goes away. Which is seemingly never, also. Dude. Okay, this was bollocks. <laughs> what the hell keeps hitting me? Oh, there's a dude right next to me, I see. Oh my god, I'm walking into these guys like crazy. I can't goddamn see them. Could this guy... Like, yeah, there you go. Not be invincible for like 10 years, please. Goddamn, what the hell was that about? Um, No HP to be seen here, which is real bad because our HP is not in a good spot right now. Oh goddamn, we're firing daggers like a madman though. Okay, and then... Oh, dude! I'm an idiot. I didn't even get my Mysterious Gift before doing this. Well, this was a waste. 
I'm very upset with myself right now. Why'd I do that? I didn't even get my mysterious gift first. Fuck you, game. Why did, why did I forget? Bollocks. And Cursed Eye as well. You really sold me down shit creek there, didn't you, game? My, my god. That was not very kind. Okay. Not particularly happy with how that went. What on earth? I gambled. Was it worth it? Really? I got a golden penny and it's over there. Um, right. Next floor. Oh, not very happy with how all of this has gone, I'll be honest. I don't think we're in for a very good fight against the, the big boss. Um, Space Gem. Oh, hello. Okay, we're just going to have a bunch of these guys do everything for us. I'm, I'm happy with that. That works for me. It's weird, but it works for me. Oh god, we got the, the trippy dippies. I also don't like the fact this guy in the middle can't be killed. Until everything else is dead, because everything else is not likely to be dead ever. Look at him. He's just chill, still trucking along. Oh my god. Oh, I, all these are enemies. I'm like, what the hell are these things? They're all enemies. Hey, I finally got him. Oh, we got a rainbow peep out of that as well, apparently. Trying to get all of the dagger build-ups. Sadly, we didn't get another mum's knife out of there. Uh... What the hell? Oh, they, they just reappear, I see. I've not really fought these guys before long enough to see them do that. Oh, we've got the oh crap transformation, of course. So every dip and stuff is our friend. Nice. Right. I am definitely going to buy these two. And neither of those are very good. Nice, you died very quickly. You shouldn't be a problem if I can not get hit by the explosives. That would be great. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, right. This, these guys confuse me so much. Then. I'm like, why is he so small? But it's like the champion's version. There's three of them. God damn. Okay, Angel... We're not going to the angel deal here, so let's take you out. Oh my god. Okay, don't lose all your health right before you have to fight the boss. Would be a great suggestion from me. Uh, don't think that does much for us. Back up to 15. Taking these is like a devil deal or something. I don't really get them. Please have HP. I mean... I guess we'll take this. Isn't looking great for us, though, I've got to say. Um, I need a reroll for a soul heart. Soul heart. I can buy two soul hearts. I'm in the money now, baby. I'm in the money now. Okay. Wow, you dropped a lot of shit. What the hell? Why'd that guy drop so much? Hoping for another soul heart here, but sadly not. Right, that's okay then. Let's get gone. Certainly going to be a little bit risky. Really, those enemies don't get affected by the oh crap transformation. A bit sad. Uh, right, let's go. I don't know how this is going to go, I'll be honest. This has been a weird one. This has been a really weird one. 
I'm glad that we have four of these little dudes, though, because they'll be creating crazy amounts of those little um, black chaser guys, whatever they're called. Little, little gremlins. A little bit sad that we don't have a herming and range ups and stuff. But it's going to be more and more of those little dudes really got hit already. Wow. And I guess Petrified Poop is probably better. Oh my god. No soul hearts there. It's all been very, very risky right now. How, how did Petrified Poop get back over there? Don't know what this black boxer does. I probably want it though. Oh my god. This is so stressful. I just want to see what this black box does. Um, on use, will either spawn a collectible, black heart card, uh, spiders based on luck, chance scales linear with luck. Um, interesting. Gave me a justice card. Which gave me a soul heart. It was all worth it. All part of my plan. Honestly, my plan at the minute is just destroy the red poop over and over again to deal damage to him, while my uh, my minions re repeatedly spawn more and more of the little black chaser guys to kill him. That's my current game plan. <laughs> and it seems to be going, like, not too poorly. <laughs> oh, we got another red poop in the business, too. The more red poops we can get in there, the more outgoing explosions we've got and they do a lot of damage too so there's, there's two red poops down here keep taking the devil deal things they seem to be entirely positive oh god i've taken quite a bit of damage but i'm gonna just pretend it's all okay Oh, we got a holy dip here. That's potentially really good. If I can get near him with this holy dip, I've got like really good herming and increased damage and stuff. But particularly using it while I fire with Mum's knife is not easy, but it does work now and then. You just saw it work there. I still want to know what all these devil token things are about with Henry. Seems like a very tacked on part of this guy this character's design that I'm confused by. There's also a, a D4 here as well. If we I suppose I should pick it up in case we get in a really tough spot. If we get down to one HP, I could just go for a reroll. The black heart. Another black heart. The HP up. Dude, I need to stop getting hit when I get HP, because it's not really that effective to take HP and then immediately get hit. But getting all those batteries was particularly quite nice. Could you get away from this goddamn HP up, please, so I can grab it? Rather frustrating. Like, I kind of find it funny how, like, there's barely enough room for poops to spawn anymore. Oh, dude. You get hit by everything he throws at you, why don't you? Golden button has appeared in the basement, okay. What the fuck? Did this just spawn two Isaac bosses? Um, four Isaac bosses? What the fuck? Um, um... No. What? The... Why? Why can the button spawn an Isaac boss? What the fuck is... I don't even mean to press the goddamn button. What the fuck is this? He's almost dead. Just focus on killing him. And hopefully the room ends when we kill him. What, what on earth am I meant to do about this? Like, actually, the fuck is this? 
how is he not dead yet? Look at, his, look at his HP. What's going on with his HP bar? Is he not dead? I'm very confused. Meh. Okay. He is dead. That did work. That is ultimately quite surprising. What on earth was that about? <laughs> what the actual fuck? Oh my god. That was... That was something else. I don't think I've ever seen I don't know if anyone has ever seen a button spawn the Isaac boss why can that happen I'm guessing the reason so from what I understand about buttons is they have like a scale of what they can do based on where you are in the run and the later into the run you get the worse things it can do in terms of spawning enemies like people have those clips where they're in the, like that t thin room in cathedral or on chest where they'll press like five buttons and it'll spawn a bunch of random bosses. I've seen that like monstro and stuff, but I, I'm not sure if either something modded happened. That's obviously the button spawned via something modded. So I'm thinking something modded happened and there were modded outcomes from the button. But I think what more likely happened is the game has some sort of automatic scale for where you are progression wise based on the run for what the button can spawn and it isn't actually set up it's not like there's a list of things that can spawn it's like an actual like randomized i won't say randomized but like auto generated list by the game based on like an enemy's internal difficulty id and i have a feeling that the there was never meant to be buttons in the greed room fight and his his difficulty id is set to be very very high and like it's similar to Isaac's or higher than Isaac's and therefore when you press a button in that room because it's its own separate floor whereas when you fight the blue baby boss fight or lamb boss fight it's on the same floor as everything else it's not its own floor I think because it's its own floor for the greed fight it has some sort of strange interaction with the difficulty ID of said enemy and it has the ability to spawn Isaac's which is absolutely insane it's just crazy that it spawns multiple at once from one button press and then i end up spawning even more either way i hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll see you guys in the next one